On today's Solo Saturday, we play Architects of the West Kingdom. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lee with Geek City USA here, and today we are going to play Architects of the West Kingdom. This is a game by Garfield Games by Shem Phillips and Sam McDonald. And this is a worker placement game with art by the Miko, as you can see here. If you're not familiar with his work, if you are familiar with his work, you'll recognize it right away. Um, but anyway, this is a worker placement game in which you are working to build a cathedral, to build uh, buildings, obviously architects, right? So anyway, I have this set up already for a solo playthrough. Now, I did go ahead and I picked uh, Helena or Helena, Helena. And uh, this is considered the advanced AI. And what this does is gives you the difference between this one and Constantine is you get, th or they get three points per worker in the guild hall. So uh, I am going to play against the better AI. Uh, there's, uh, she will be purple. And I have selected randomly uh, Frederick. Now I am playing with the individual powers here. And Frederick starts off with four silver, as you see here. Uh, seven of the, uh, of the, uh, <laughs> of the virtue and one stone here. And also Frederick's power is when he gets, uh, to build in the cathedral, usually you have to discard a card as you see here. That's what these green X's are. You see, he does not have to do that. So that is who we have. Now I'm going to go ahead and I am playing as blue and I have my little resource bucket here. I'll move this as the game goes on because this is where I'm going to put my buildings and my apprentices. Actually, I will just go ahead and put this right on top of Frederick. Now I'll keep the money there. I like to keep the money separate from, I like to keep my wood and my metal separate is basically it. Now here is the solo deck. I've already shuffled it, but I'll shuffle it again just to show you that it is shuffled. And we will set that right there on top of Helena. And I've also already shuffled this, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'll give it another shuffle just so that there's no question as to how, uh, you know, how legit I am here. So when you start a solo game, you start off with five cards and you keep three. Now, uh, in a multiplayer game, you're gonna draft your cards, so you're gonna get a hand, you're gonna pick one, you're gonna hand it to your opponent, but this uh, it's a little bit different being solo. So here's our options. We have the lighthouse, which requires that kind of apprentice, these resources, but uh, each we get one, uh, is that, yeah, one victory point per four virtue that we have. So that's not bad, it's worth four points. The factory gets us a couple marble. I, I am gonna say too, I'm not gonna really go over how to play the game. I'm just gonna go ahead and play it. Um, the drafting room, ooh, we get to add two cards when we play this one but we need two different apprentices, eight points, ah, three gold. That's an expensive card to build. The observatory, uh, I like that one. And the smithy, the smithy gets us uh, stone right away. I'm definitely gonna keep this one. It's a low point card, only worth three points, but we're gonna be able to get that to the table pretty quickly, I feel. And then of these, I definitely, I'm gonna get rid of this one because that's gonna take two apprentices uh, and when I play solo, I find myself, I don't get as many apprentices because I feel it's a race to build the cathedral against the AI. So I alter my play style. So I, you know, I have to figure that one out. And I'll keep two out of these. Now, I'm going to keep this one um, just because it's got a lower cost. Like the gold and the marble, those cost victory points. And the game, solo games, I feel, tend to go a little quicker. And I'll keep the lighthouse as well. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So we're just gonna put these two cards back at the bottom of the deck. Now I have all my resources off here, off screen, and my handy dandy 3D printed uh, insert. And then this is the tax stand, with, which has already been set up with four coins. And we both, uh, both the AI player as well as my player starts with seven on the virtue. So we are good to take our first turn. Now we always get first go, and I'm gonna kinda talk through this. I want to work towards building this smithy right away because I think the stone would be good uh, for no other reason even if it just gets me the go well yeah because see I have to work for um, the clay there and I also want to work for gold so I can rush up here because whenever the AI is going to build in the cathedral they're going to get one of these cards as well and they could build as soon as the very first turn if that's a guild hall card they're going to go to the cathedral so I want to be aware of that so my first action here 
and I'm gonna lay down my workers just so you can see them better. So I'm gonna to go to the mine. That's gonna give me one clay plus one for every worker that I have there. So that is what I get. So I'll get two clay. Now we're gonna move on to Helena or Helena. Look at that, Gil Hall. So they take the first possible action below in the following order. Moves their player marker one space up the cathedral and discards the top reward card. So that is kind of a bummer for us. I'm just going to lay this uh, off to the side here. So they're going to take their worker. They're going right to the guild hall. And they're going to move up one here, which isn't a big deal. I'm not concerned about them going first, but I'm concerned about these cards because look at that. Oh, well, she got a building card. It doesn't really matter. But that the AI is going to move up one on the virtue. These are cards that I want. I'm just going to discard that up there. So that's kind of a bummer, but that's, you know, that's going to happen in this game when you play it solo. Uh, I'm going to go ahead here into the mines. I'm going to put a second worker, and I'm going to use that to take gold. And the reason I'm going to do that is because the uh, AI is going to take out where I have the most workers. So uh, you know, that, that could happen right now. If it happens right now, I'm going to throw this guard. Oh, look at that, the guardhouse. So take as many actions as possible, one per worker in the following order. So we're going to go ahead and put their worker, if I can grab them out of this little container, into the guardhouse there. And they don't have anybody to rescue from the guardhouse. They don't have any of, their, any of my people to send to prison. They don't have anybody to clear off, to take off of my board. And they don't have uh, any debt cards to discard. So we kind of got off scot-free, although they now have more presence at the guardhouse, which will matter as the game goes on. Uh, I am going to jump ahead here. I'm going to go right to the guild hall for my turn and move up one here. And I'm going to discard my gold. I don't have to discard a card because of my power as Frederick. And I am going to go ahead and take this. Now, again, I want to rush. I want to get these bonus cards as quickly as possible. And there we have it. We have two virtue. Now, if you see this little X here, if you're not familiar with the game, this means that I can't take, play, take part in any of the black market stuff. Kind of a bummer, but kind of not really. I tend to usually play this game more on the up and up. Let's see what we have here. Oh, another at the guardhouse. So they're just going to go here. They don't have any actions that they can take. So uh, kind of a bummer for them. But being that uh, I want to, again, still work towards building the smithy. Uh, actually, maybe I want to hire. Do I want to hire? I didn't consider any of these here. I haven't even looked to see what we have. Black market. I'm not interested in doing anything at the black market. <clears throat> here we have the acolyte. So let's look here. What do I need for these two? I need that symbol and that symbol. So the axe and like the mud, you know, the mudder if they're doing brickwork, I guess. And the acolyte will do that. But I don't have the money. I only have four coins. So I'd only be able to take either one of those unless I go to the tax stand. I'm not sure that I want to do that right off the bat. Uh, and this here, if I have nobody during the black, oh, this might not be a bad idea. This would get me that symbol. This would get me a virtue for taking it. And during the black market reset, I would actually get, um, as long as I have nobody in the, uh, in the guardhouse, in prison, I would get a gold. So I think I am going to step up, make a slight deviation from what I was doing. Oh, even though I have my worker right here. Um, but I'm going to pay two to the tax stand and two to the supply. And I'm going to take the squire here, which is going to give me a virtue. We'll scooch these three down, and we will refill right there. All right. So now, what does... All right, we have the town center. So this is what I was afraid of. I should have probably gone to the mine the last turn. So the town center, they're going to add one coin to the tax stand. And then they're going to capture what my workers for wherever I have the most. And that is going to be the mines. So my workers go into their little capture area. That's a bummer. I didn't play that well. Anyway, we're going to go to the mines this turn anyway. And I'm going to take my two clay. All right, well, you will go back to the AI here. And they're going back to the town center again. I am already starting to hate this AI. So they're going to go here. They're going to pay their one coin to the tax. And it says, capture the worker from the, wherever I have the most workers. But you'll see here, I'm tied. One at the workshop, one at the mines. Now, each one of these is going to be different from the order. I think they're different anyway. Maybe they're not all different. I don't recall. But anyway, we're going to go through here. Mines, King Storehouse. Well, the mines is actually the first. So once again, they're taking my dude from the mines. 
All right. Uh, no big deal, though. We are going to go... Boy, the tax stand's starting to look pretty good. Um... Hmm, and if I go to the tax stand, I can capture some of their workers. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to the tax stand. I'm gonna drop, oh, I've been moving, <laughs> oops. I've been moving them up and not me. So I'm gonna go to the tax stand. I'll drop down two, and I'm gonna take these, what do I get, two, four, six, seven coins. That's not a bad haul. And this will allow me to go to the town center and start arresting their people. So we will go back to them, and they're going to the guardhouse once again. Man, I don't think I've ever drawn this many guardhouses of the, uh, of the AI in a row. I'm going to use this opportunity, though, to go to the town center. I'm going to pay one silver to the tax stand. And I'll move those out a little bit. And I am going to take, on a solo game, uh, actually, it's a one to three player game, you could take from one color from two locations. So I'm going to take their three here from the guardhouse, and I'm going to take their two from the town center. And yeah, that's it. So we will go over to them. And the tax stand, I pulled that at just the right moment. So they're going to send a dude to the tax stand. So boom, we're hanging out here together. And this will get emptied. And the, they're going to drop two and they will receive a marble. Now, marble is the only thing that the AI is going to collect in this, and that is going to be worth one point per marble at the end of the game. All right, now it comes over to us, so let's start considering, I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go right here to the workshop, because I'm gonna to have to gather some wood, so let's make See here, I need wood for all these. So I'm going to go for the wood cutter, and that's also going to get me the axe that I need to play this card. This might be the most thought out first round I've ever played, or you know, beginning of a game I ever played. So we'll put two into the tax stand, we're going to put two into the supply, and I'm going to take this wood cutter here. Because I have two workers here, I can go in to this area and I have to put a coin on that one. So I took the wood cutter. I don't get anything for taking the wood cutter, but hey, you know what? No, uh, no big deal there. And that, we're gonna add this guy, the jeweler. Jeweler's a good one to have. All right, now we will go over to here. In the town center, capture all my workers from the area with the most. So we're gonna add one to the supply and they're gonna capture my two guys in the workshop. And now we're gonna come over to me and I'm gonna wanna get those at some point, but yeah, we'll get there. <clears throat> we are going to go to the forest. Now that gets one wood, plus I have the wood cutter, so I will get two wood. One and almost two. The wood's a little bit small for my fingers to pick up, but no biggie there. And we have now the black market. So they're gonna gain the reward shown, so they're gonna go to the far right. So let's place their worker here to the far right and they will lose one virtue, and they will gain two marble. So now we're already at three points in marble for the, uh, for the bad guy here. And let's see, do I want to build? Hmm, I do. Do I have enough? Yeah. See, so if I build this, I'll have stone, and then I can use that stone to right away build into there. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I am going to go to the guild hall, Boom. And then I am going to build the smithy. So this is going to cost me four of the clay, which I have here. One, two, three, four. That two wood that I just got, I'm just going to pick this up because it works better if I do it this way. And two wood can go. And then I am going to play that right there. Now that is going to give me I get nothing long term, but I get the immediate reward of four stone. So now I have five stone left in my supply. And I feel pretty good about that. Now let's see here what they are going to do. They're going to go to the black market again. Holy cats. Boom. Because they always go, the right's the best reward. Um, they're going to go to the middle. So they're going to drop one virtue. 
it says, add one future scheme card to the schemes discard pile. So there are a number of future schemes that these are, you know, these have gray versus the, uh, the brown. And these are typically, this is what speeds the game along as it goes, because you see there's a lot of guild hall and guard house actions in here. So I'm going to shuffle these up. I've shuffled them once already, but we'll just shuffle them again so we keep them on the up and up. Can't accuse me of cheating. And we're going to add this one here, which is going to be town center. So they're going to be more prone to arrest my people. All right, so we are going to go to the guild hall. And I'm going to move up one here because I'm going to get rid of, I can do... Four of wood and or stone. I got the four stone here. I'll get rid of that and I will draw this awesome bonus card. And I get one virtue. Boop. And then I get uh, an, a, to draw one of these cards. And I drew the armory here, which uh, unfortunately I do not have that icon. And this would let me, let me check the armory. Is this getting to send their people to the guardhouse? I believe so. Oh, I get to, oh, that's arrest their people. That's what that is. So it's the town center icon. See that? Boom. So that's not a bad gig, although, ooh, it's worth nine points too. All right, we'll see. We'll figure that one out. Let's see what our friend Helena is going to do here. King Storehouse, they get one virtue per worker there. So that's going to be their first worker there. Oh. I almost lined it perfect. And that would bring them to one, up one virtue. Uh, so I don't really have the resources that I need here. What do I want to do? Actually, I'm going to go to the guardhouse. And, uh, hmm. If I go to the guardhouse, I can get a quick five bucks here. But all they need is one guardhouse action will be able to rescue them but i need at least one i could free my guys from there and as soon as this black market is full if they pull another card we're gonna have a black market reset um maybe i don't want to do that though maybe i want to look more towards i need a we're going to the forest we're going to go to the forest this is going to give us two wood plus our wood cutter here so that's three wood, and two and three. I'm trying here. I can't pick this up. Here we go, three. We will put that there. And here's my thought on that. Um, I really want to take advantage, <clears throat> excuse me, of not having people in, um, in prison here. There's going to be a black market reset, so I think I'll be okay thinking aloud here, and I really want to use that to go up here so I get one of those extra bonuses. So let's see what happens. And they're going to the town center. All right, so <clears throat> one of their people there to the town center, they're gonna pay one to tax, and captures all my workers with the most. That's here at the forest. All right, it's my go now. And do I want to consider, no I don't. I'm gonna go here, we're going to the guild hall because remember they get three points for every person they have in the guild hall. So we're gonna build here quick. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to the guild hall, I take that back. We're going to the king's storehouse and I'm going to turn in, uh, I'm gonna turn in, I'm gonna get rid of the three wood. That's what we're gonna do. I was debating whether I wanted to do two wood and a stone. We're gonna get rid of the three wood. So we're gonna turn this in to take this action right here, which is gonna give us a marble. And that's gonna let us build up the cathedral here. All right, and they are going to go to the tax stand. So they're gonna drop, you know, always gotta to remember to put a worker there. Boom. And they will drop two. Oh, bollocks, so they have five or one. So if my, okay, so that should be right. They should be here at the, at the negative five. Now I figure this out. They lost two, they had one for that. So that's negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, five. And then they would have went up one here. So that'd be negative four. And they start at seven, one, two, three, four. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think we're good there though. 
And that was a tax stand, so these coins are going to get cleared out. And now it becomes my turn. And now I'm going to go to the guild hall. And I'm going to move up here. And I'm going to discard this one there. And I will get to draw this card, and it is nice. So I get one virtue, and I also get two stone, which is nice because it makes up the resources that I spent to get that. And I need that resource to build the next one. Now, I don't think I've ever had a game against the AI where I've built four times to their one. So I'm sure this is where their building run is going to start. Workshop. All right, so we're going to add two coins into the tax stand. And that X is going to be which apprentice we're going to lose. So this one is going to get discarded. And any silver would uh, go to the supply. And if possible, add one future scheme per worker to the scheme's discard pile. Oh, you know what? I have to put a, a worker there, right? All right, so we're going to add one future scheme. And it's going to be another workshop one where that gets rid of two cards. So that's going to make that happen quicker. So we'll move these down. We'll refill this, and now it is us. So let's think about what we want to do. I really would like to get this last card here, because there's only five for a, a two-player game, and that would be nice. So I think the quickest way to do that is to aim for the forest. I'm starting to run low on workers here, but let's see what will happen. I'll take the two from the forest, one for being there, one because I have the woodcutter. Now I have five resources, so in the next turn, in theory, I could get up to eight, as long as they don't draw a town center. And they're drawing a king's storehouse. So we're going to put one here, and they will get one virtue per worker there. There's two workers, so I have to, I have to fix that. I'm going to have to start arresting some of their people and, and getting rid of some of mine up there. Uh, but first, I want to go to the forest. I will take my two wood plus one for my woodcutter, and that should give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I now have the eight resources. Whoops, no, seven now, right? I now have the eight resources that I need to do this here and get that card. As long as they don't go to the guild hall, we're in a good situation here, people. And they're going to the town center. I'm not concerned about that. I should be, but I'm not. Because they're going to go to the town center, they're going to put in a coin to the tax stand, captures all workers from the location with the most, excluding the tax stand, uh, which would be the forest. So they have captured those guys, and I'm totally fine with that, because I am going to go to the guild hall, go up on the cathedral track, get rid of these eight resources here. You see here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that lets me take this, and that gives me a virtue, yay, and two wood. Yahtzee, all right. So what are they going to do? We're coming close to the end of their deck, and they're going to the workshop. So let's take their worker here, and they're going to discard the bottom one. That one's out of the game. Scooch those down. Um, but if possible, add one future scheme uh, per worker to the scheme discard pile. So they have two people there, so they're going to add two of these future schemes. And one's a guard house and one's a guild hall. So this will make them build quicker and this will help them get their people out of jail quicker. All right, so now it's my turn and we need to start considering getting our people back. So I'm going to send my first... Ooh, how many workers do I have here? I've got two more workers after this. Is it worth going to the town center to arrest some of their people? And then my first guy into here will put their people in jail. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go to the town center. I'm going to pay. Oops, it goes to the tax. Pay a coin to the, the tax. And I'm going to arrest these three here. And I will also do the two at the king's storehouse. And what else I'm going to do, because I have two workers here, I can do that again. I'm going to put another coin. This just doesn't go in the tax. This goes into the supply. 
and I'm going to take their people out of the tax stand and out of the workshop. So I have a collection of their dudes now. Woohoo. And we will flip here, and they're going to the King's Storehouse. So I'm glad I did that because they're only gaining one virtue instead of, it would have been three if I left those two there. All right, so now I'm going to go to the guardhouse. They're going to jail. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I get 14 coins out of that deal. Holy cats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Because you notice you get one coin per worker that you put into prison. So that is good for me there. Oh, please don't be guardhouse. King's storehouse again. So they're going to put another worker to the king's storehouse. And they will get two virtue for that. And with my last worker here, I'm going to go to the guardhouse again, and I'm going to pay, I want to do this so I can break my people out. So I'm going to pay two to tax and three to the supply. Let me tell you too, these coins are probably my favorite metal coins in any game. You hear that chingle changle there? So put that there. So that'll let me break my people out from other cards. So I'm going to take all my workers back off of their card. So I'm gonna interject real quick. It really, <clears throat> excuse me, really amazes me how differently this game, oops, I never filled that up. How differently this game plays every time I play it, uh, solo even, because last time I played, man, they were building up here in, in the guild hall, and this time they're not as quickly. So let's see what happens here. We have the guild hall. So that's the other guild hall one. So, takes the first possible action below, moves their player marker up one space in the cathedral, and discards the top card. Now, they are out of workers, but there's going to be a black market reset because they're triggering there. So, they're going to go up here. They don't get a card, but they are going to go up to Virtue. Now, with the black market reset, first, you're going to take everybody that's in the black market. They are going to go to jail. You're going to flip this card here. So it's going to go from the small amount to the large amount, and it's going to go on this side here. And then we'll look over here. If you have three or more people in prison, you're going to lose a virtue. That's not one virtue per three. It's three or more. And then whoever has the most in prison is going to take a debt card. So our lovely friend uh, Helena here, Helena, is going to take a debt card, which will be worth negative two points at the end of the game if she doesn't take care of it. Um, and then I have this card here that says if I have nobody, and I'll bring it up just so you can see it, I have no people in the prison. Let's see, focus on that a little bit. No people in the prison, so I get a gold. So that was kind of a nice free point. I mean, this gold is worth one point at the end of the game, and plus gold is a little bit harder to get, and I'm going to need it if I'm going to try for that 20 points at the cathedral. So now they are out of cards. So we are going to shuffle their, their deck here. And I also really like the quality of these cards. They have a lot of snap to them. They're, they're plasticky, they're linen. You see they're linen uh, coated. They feel good. Um, I don't think there's anything that I don't like about the components, the art, or anything else about this game. We're a big fan of this game. We play this game a lot two player. Uh, and we don't usually use the AI with a two-player game because we just found it to be a little too, um, I don't know, it, we like to play Careberry and it got in our way a lot. So we're able to play against each other how we want to. Uh, we've also, for two-player, we've tried extending, t you know, you can make your game a little bit longer if you play, you know, to the three there. <clears throat> and uh, mixed feelings on that too with the way we played. Uh, I want to try that again, because sometimes as a two-player, I feel like our games end too quickly. Anyway, neither here nor there. All right, so now what do I want to do? So I can focus on building. I really want to get up there. I'm going to need gold and marble. 
So let's go, we're gonna go to the mines because I'm gonna try to get that marble. So I will get one clay plus one per worker. So that's two clay. See my big, the biggest thing to me in the game is getting that 20 points. That's what I always focus on. And a lot of times Robin will beat the crud out of me because she'll have all these buildings built. And yeah, I'll get 20 points there, but she'll get like 35 points from buildings. Uh, at least it feels that way. So now you notice here, Helena has no workers here in this little container. So the solo play rules, uh, if they have no workers at the start of their turn, return all workers excluding the guild hall and black market, including captured and imprisoned, then shuffle all discards back into the scheme's draw pile. So they're going to take all their people back. So let's put all these back into the container. And there's no schemes. Uh, you can't see, but I just shuffled that deck so they don't have any, any decks there or any cards there. So now that counted as their turn. So now it's our turn again here. And we are going to rush back to the mines again, and I'm going to take gold. So you now have two gold, and we're going to need two marble. So we're going to need stone and or wood to turn that into marble. I can't go to the black market if I wanted to because I passed that. So... Oh, yeah, nothing there. Oh, this lets me turn, go to the king's storehouse and turn three coins in. That might not be a bad gig. Well, we'll see. Let's see what they're going to do first. They're right away going to the guild hall. And you see, that's one of the dark, the gray ones. So that's one of the added schemes. Whoop. All right, now it comes over to us. And... I mean, I have the coins if I want to do that. It would cost me four. No, I'm not going to do that. I am not going to do that. Uh, we're going to go, we're going to collect some wood. Uh, so that it will give me two. One for the woodcutter and one for my worker. So now I have four. I will need six to turn that into to marble. Let's see what they are going to do. They're going to go to the king's storehouse, which is going to give them one virtue per worker in the king's storehouse. So they're starting to creep up here a little bit, surprisingly. I'm going to go back to the forest. That's going to give me three wood. One, two, and da, 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 number three. So I now have three, six. So I got enough to go there next turn in the, the computer. <laughs> Helena's going to go to the King's Storehouse again. So they have two there. So they're going to raise this up too. And look at that. They are now in the positive for points there. At some point, I'm going to have to consider arresting them. But now is not going to be that time. Because I'm going to go to the King's Storehouse. I can do two actions, one per worker. So I'm going to get rid of one, two, three, four, five, and six wood and in its place I'm going to take two marble and now they're going to the town center so here they go there's gonna go one coin to the tax stand and they're gonna capture all the workers at the place with the most well you see here I'm tied all over the place first place being the mines so they're gonna take my two guys here boom in their holding cell. Yes, all right. Um, so now I'm going to go to the guild hall and I'm gonna move up one here because I'm gonna get rid of two gold and two marble here. And I have finished the cathedral. I'll get to take one of those or you know move up one point because that's all you get there's no cards here you're only going to get the one virtue but um i've now locked in let's get, that that was worth eight points so i gave up four points and resources to get eight points now we'll go over to the ai here and they're going to go to the black market so they would go to the far right here they're gonna lose one virtue and gain two marble
Bang. All right, what are we gonna do now? So let's start talking about building stuff. So the game's gonna end really quickly here. Um, I've got a couple of clay and a wood. So I mean, I can consider building the observatory, but it's kind of a waste because I don't think I'm gonna get any marble before the game's done. I can arrest some of their people. Or this is going to be a good one. I'm going to go for this. I'm going to try to get the marble. I'm going to go for this one. I have the square. The square has that symbol. So I'll just need two more wood, a stone, and a couple of, uh, a couple of marble. So let's right away. We're going to go to the forest before we get arrested for being at the forest. That'll give me three wood. One, two, and three plus one for having the woodcutter. So I now have five wood, so I'm, I'm good there. And they are going to go to the black market again, wow. So this time, because they can't go to the far right one, they're gonna go to this one here. I'm gonna drop their virtue down one and add one future scheme. Oh, I missed that the last time, add one future scheme to the discard pile. So they're gonna add the guild hall, and the guild hall. I wonder, did I do that the last, when I did the black market earlier in the game? I might not have. But we're almost out of future schemes to add anyway, but still, it might not have been best for me. But all right, we're going to go to the town center here. I'm going to pay one to tax. And I'm going to take my people out of the forest. And I'm going to take my. How do I want to do this? Actually, I'm gonna leave my people in the forest. I'm gonna take their people out of the king's storehouse. I'm gonna pay a coin, and then I'm gonna take my people out of the town center and out of the forest. So I have some workers to do some stuff. And they're gonna to go to the guardhouse. All right, so we're gonna go in order here. They're gonna take as many actions as they can. I don't have anybody in there to take. Uh, they can send my people to jail, which they're going to do, and they're going to get one marble. They get one marble no matter how many are there. So that was their one action. So this gets discarded into their pile there. Now we come up to me. Now I'm afraid that there's going to be a black market reset. I don't want those people being there. So I think I'm going to go to the guardhouse. I'm going to take my people out, and that was my first action. My second one, I'm going to send them there. It's going to give me two bucks. And then I got a third person there, but those are no good. They don't matter to me. So I'll go over to the AI, and they're going to go to the King's Storehouse to get one victory point per worker. They have one worker there, so they will go up one. All right, it comes back to us. What shall we do? Let's try to build something and have a black market reset. Um, based on these cards, this was the one that I wanted to build. I need stone and marble. I'll actually shoot. I didn't think that one through. So I should have kept my forest there because not only do I need the wood here, I can turn it into marble. But oh well, we're gonna go to the quarry because we're gonna need stone. And we have a stone. Oops, I missed. And they are going to go to the town center. And one is going to go to the tax stand. And they're going to arrest my people at the guardhouse. Hmm. I'm going to go back to the quarry here and I'm going to take two stone. Now I have enough stone to build this. I have three wood and a stone. One, two, three wood and a stone. I need two marble. So I'm gonna need two more resources in order to, to turn that in there at the King's Storehouse. Let's see what they're gonna do now. They're gonna to go to the tax stand. So they're gonna drop two here. And all this is going to go into the 
discard or the supply, and they are going to gain a marble. We are going to go back to the quarry again, and we now have three stone here, one for each worker. So I have one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, so we now have enough stone. We just need the marble, so we're good there. We can go to the king's storehouse next. And they are going to go to the workshop. Two coins are going to go into the tax stand. They're going to get rid of the acolyte right here. And then, if possible, add one scheme per worker. So they're going to add, there's a black market card they're going to add. So the black market is going to ramp up a little bit. So it comes over to us. Huh, we're going to go King's Storehouse. So I need three wood, a stone, and two marble. So I'm going to pull this aside just so it's off to the side here. I'll put it right here. So three wood and a stone. That's going to be towards the, uh, this lighthouse that I'm trying to build. So then I will turn in... With one worker here, I'm going to turn in a wood and two stone, take a marble. For another worker here, I'm going to trade in, we're going to call it three stone, and take another marble. And my third worker here, I'm going to trade in these two, because I could trade in any of these times two to move up one on the virtue. And that takes me up to seven points. Right, and then we will see they're going to go to the workshop again. I'm going to place a guy in the workshop. They're going to remove, or two coins are going to go to the tax stand. I'm going to remove this top one here. And then, if possible, add one future scheme per worker. There are now two workers in here, so we're going to add a guild hall and a king's storehouse. And now it's my turn. We are going to go to the guild hall. We are going to turn in two marble, one stone, and three wood. Three wood, one stone, and two marble. We're going to play the lighthouse. It's going to get us six points at the end of the game. There's nothing that it happens as soon as we play it, but at the end of the game, we'll get a victory point per four, and we're at 14. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. So we'll set that there. I did not move those and replace those. We'll go back here, and they're going to do the King's Storehouse. Oh, hold on, pause before we do the King's Storehouse. Set that there. This causes a black market reset. So these two are going to go into jail. This is going to get flipped. Uh, they have three people here, so they're going to drop one on the virtue. They have the most, so they are going to gain a debt card. So they now have two. We'll just set that one there. And then I don't have anybody in there, so I gain a gold. And now they're going to play the king's storehouse. And they're going to go here, and they're going to go up to virtue. So now it's our turn. And I'm thinking, I only got two people in there. I'm going to go to the town center. I'm going to pay a coin. And the question is going to become, so am I going to get to build anything first? Let me think about it. I can do the armory probably pretty easily. Do I have, I need an, yeah, I ha, no, I need a stone cutter. So I need like the debt collector or the gatekeeper. But I'm going to start, I threw my coin in there. I'm going to start by arresting. Do I want my workers or theirs? I'm going to take mine. No, I'm not. I'm going to take theirs. I'm going to take their two out of the king's storehouse. I'm going to take their two out of the workshop. No, I'm going to take 
Ah, what do I want to do? So I don't want them in the King's Storehouse because I don't want them to keep getting virtue. In the other location, maybe the town center. The workshop's just going to add future schemes. I don't really care at this point. The guardhouse gives them more options. This gets me more money. I'm going to get rid of their dude in the guardhouse. Oh, what the heck. You know what? I'm going to pay another coin and take these guys as well. Boom. And they're going to the guild hall. There you have it. We are one build away from ending the game. So move their player marker up one space here. And they are going to gain a marble. And now it comes back to me. So what are the odds of me getting to build to build this one? I'll need three wood. I can get fairly quickly at the quarry. You know what? We're going to have to... I'm going to go to the quarry and I'm going to take four stone. One, two, three, and four. And they are going to go to the guild hall. That is going to essentially end the game, really. So you go to the guild hall, move their player marker up one, and then they're going to take one marble. So now the way this works, that's the last space. Everybody gets one final turn. So let's figure out what's going to maximize our points. Money, I get a point for every 10, two, four, six, eight. I mean, I could go here and get some points there. Um, actually, I know what I'm gonna do. I am going to go to the guardhouse. I'm gonna send all their people to jail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cause they're gonna lose Two, uh, one point for every two. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Because this lets me now, I've crossed that gap of 10 coins, and they're going to lose a bunch of points. Unless they draw a guardhouse card. And they drew a town center card. So they will go to the town center for their last turn. One coin is going to go into the tax stand. And they're going to rest from the mines, or wherever I have the most. So it's, yeah, the quarry. So they have four of my dudes from the quarry. And that, my friends, is the game. Now we have to do the scoring. All right, so I have this handy-dandy little sheet that I print out from Board Game Geek. Uh, so I'm going to put Lee and AI. And unfortunately, all I have is my daughter's pencil. All my pens are missing, unless I get up and walk halfway across this room. Anyway. So let's score. First, we are going to score what I have from uh, the cathedral. And I have 20 points. And the AI should actually have one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four. They'd be up to there. They have 12. And next we are going to have, oh no, that was, okay, I got these two confused. So next we'll do the, the building cards. I have nine points. Right, yeah, nine. Plus, I'll get one per four here. So we got, Four, there's one, two, three. I'll get three points for this. So this is actually worth 12 points to me. And we will use this actually for them. We're gonna use this to count their spots in the guild hall. So they're gonna get three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 points for the guild hall. All right, so now we count our, <coughs> our virtue. I have seven and they have two. Debt cards, I have zero 
and they are going to lose a total of four points. One, two, three, four. So negative four. Now for every gold that I have or marble, I get a point. I have one gold, so I get one point. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine marbles, so they get nine points. For every 10 coins, I get a point. Two, four, six, eight, 10. There's a point and then some extra, so I get one point for that. They don't get to score that. And then for every person in jail, for every two people, um, we lose a point. I have nobody in jail. They have, they're gonna lose one, two, three, four, five points. So our total is going to be 20, 32, 39, 40, 41 for me, right? 20, 32, 39, 40, 41. And they have uh, 15, 25, 27, 28, 29, minus four is 25, plus nine is 34, <laughs> and then minus five is 29. Wow, is that right? Nine, those two nines cancel. Uh, yeah, 29 points. So we have won 41 to 29, and that is our solo play of Architects of the West Kingdom. Now. I, I do want to ask if anybody else has played this, if you've had that good of a, or have had positive experiences with playing the AI. Um, I've had, I've always felt it was hit and miss, but my last two games, this one I won 41 to 29, and I played the other day, and I won 44 to 33. So let me know how that's going for you. I was playing Frederick the last time I played too, so there, there was that. Um, I'm curious if Frederick offered me any kind of advantage that maybe some of the other guys wouldn't have offered me. I'd be really interested to see, like, and I don't know which one of these were, um, you know, promos from different Kickstarters, but I really wonder if, like, some of these guys, one of these in particular, you know, like Hugo. Hugo, you start off with 10 dudes in jail, and you have uh, only two virtue. So that right away, you can't do any of the bad stuff. So I'm just kind of curious as to, is Frederick a nice safe option? Have you guys played? Let me know. Um, as a whole, this game, I absolutely adore it. It's a fantastic game. Uh, I'm eager for the expansion to come out. It's due out, uh, I think there's gonna be a Kickstarter later this year. Uh, and I'm really interested to, to see what it adds. Um, I've already got all my stuff 3D printed and the, the, uh, <laughs> the, the files that Shem provided to Thingiverse actually holds and fits uh, the expansion. So I'm ready to go. I just need to buy the expansion. So anyway, that is Architects of the West Kingdom. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Again, let me know your thoughts on the game. I really like this game solo. I like this game even better multiplayer. Um, I do like Paladins better solo. I will say that much. As much as I like Architects, it's, it's become one of our go-to worker placement games. Um, but I, I do have to say that I think I like Paladins way better from a solo perspective. But anyway, that is, once again, Architects of the West Kingdom, Garfield Games, Shem Phillips, and Sam McDonald. Um, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you. Cheers.